let's start with a new topic from the chapter fluid dynamics so today we'll learn about the conservation of energy in fluid mechanics according to the first law of thermodynamics energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only change forms similar to the conservation of mass this concept can be modeled is a set of integral terms one for the control volume and one for the control surface or i can say the cross section however unlike the conservation of mass new energy can be added or subtracted from the system through heat and work the final integral form of the energy equations for control volume is given by del upon del t integral for the control volume e multiplied by p dt e plus integral for the control surface e into p v multiplied by nda which can be written as qcv minus wcv where e is the specific total energy or i can say energy per unit mass v is the velocity of the fluid QCV is the rate of heat transfer added to the control volume WCV is the rate of work transfer done by the control volume and N is the unit normal vector basically the energy equation states that time rate of change of total energy within the control volume plus the net rate of total energy flow through the control surface is equal to net rate of heat transfer added to the control volume that is qcv minus net rate of work done by the control volume that is wcv so i can say the equation can be written as qcv minus wcv which is equivalent to the first law of thermodynamics for steady flow the first term on the left hand side of the energy equation the sign on the quantity v multiplied by n depends on the velocity as well as the orientation of the control surface the unit normal vector is defined as positive when pointing out of the control surface hence the term v multiplied by n will be positive when the flow is out of the control volume this is similar to the momentum integral equation which is developed previously for steady flow and constant area assuming v and r are perpendicular such as pipes inlet and outlet the energy equation becomes submission of e rho into a into v is equal to qcv minus wcv thank you